Today on the Two Car Garage, it's all about the fiberglass work. Alright, so our goal for today is going to be to get all the cracks and repairs uh, taken care of on the body. Um, in order to do that, we are going to take this off of the chassis, we'll flip it over and most of the repair work is going to be done on the underside. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and pull the body off. Uh, once we get everything set up we're going to take some plastic and, and cover all of our equipment in the garage here just to keep it clean because um, there's going to be a lot of dust that's going to be produced when we start grinding. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and get this pulled apart and uh, once we've got everything set up we'll show you, we'll show you what we're working on. All right, so we've got the body off the car. Uh, we raised it up on some sawhorses just to make it a little easier for us to get at things here. And then uh, I went around and marked, uh, you can see some black mark here, all the areas that I want to repair. Uh, there's some cracks, we've got holes that need to be filled, um, some chips just in the gel coat that will need to be filled in and smoothed out. Um, but I also went around and marked the areas I just want to trim up and make look a little bit nicer. So the first one here is um, right around the air cleaner. We'll show you an up close of that. Uh, and then I'll take you around and show you some of the other spots. So this is the hole where the carburetor pokes through. And uh, instead of going around and trying to make things uh, super nice and make it fit real tight, what we're going to do for the short term here is we're just simply going to make the hole uh, nice looking. We'll enlarge it a little bit here. We'll follow some of these curved lines around. And all we want to do is make it look halfway decent. I'm not worried about uh, uh, closing things up right now. We're going to figure that out later. Um, sometime down the road, we'll uh, go through and make things super nice. For now, it's just getting it going. So that's how we're going to handle that here. Down here, this is the lower corner of the body, uh, the lower back corner. And I just don't like the radius that's on here. It's real tight and kind of funny looking. So what we're going to do is we're just going to enlarge this radius uh, to make it mimic more what's going on on the front fender. Um, as well as it'll help clean up some of the chips and, and nicks and scratches and stuff going on here. So this is really just, uh, just to kind of clean this up, make it look a little nicer. You can see here uh, this big, big mark. There's actually some damage. It must have got hit here once and this is all chipped out. So this all needs to be cut away uh, or ground away and then we'll lay in some fresh fiberglass to, to reinforce that. And this is the inside uh, rail that bolts down to the chassis here. And this is what we on the last video uh, scribed uh, to mark where we want to trim this off. Again, just to make it look a little nicer. Um, so we'll be cutting, cutting along in here. We'll be smoothing out some of the corners and just in general making things look a little bit better than uh, than they do right now. Uh, one thing we're going to do here, uh, just to help uh, contain the dust, even though we've got the garage mainly wrapped in some uh, plastic, uh, we're, as we're doing any grinding and cutting, we're going to uh, run a vacuum to contain that dust. And we just have a vacuum running into this uh, little cyclone thing. Uh, we picked this up. Um, uh, online, I got it from Amazon, but you can pick it up at the, your local home store. Um, and it's just going to help save, uh, save our filter and our vacuum, uh, as well as, again, the important thing is, is hopefully contain most of the dust uh, from all the cutting and grinding.
so we've we've gone ahead and done some grinding here just to show you what's going on. Uh, any place that we have holes uh, that we're going to fill in, what we've done is we've ground through uh, almost all the way to the to the front side. We've left about a sixteenth of an inch or so. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go around to all of our holes that need to be filled, and we're going to grind this out in such a way. Um, also, any of the cracks that we have, we'll do the same thing. Uh, so let's take a look at this crack over here. Uh, this crack here, uh, we saw when we were prepping the top side, uh, and we cut through it. And then once we started our grinding on the back side, um, all of the fiberglass had delaminated um, all the way out to here. In fact, it was coming off in chunks. Um, so we just kept grinding until we got to clean fiberglass. And you can see we got some here and here. We still have a little bit to do, so we'll, we'll probably grind all the way out to about here. Uh, in order to get past this delaminated fiberglass. Once we get there, then then when we lay in the fresh stuff, we know we're going to get a good, good strong bond and a good strong repair. So now we're just going to go around to all the holes and all the cracks and uh, make sure we get all these prepped. And once we get finished with that, uh, then we can start laying in uh, some fresh stuff. So we've got uh, everything ground and ready to accept fiberglass. Um, after we got all the grinding finished, we just stopped and took a moment and cleaned everything up. Uh, we swept and we vacuumed, uh, make sure that the garage floor is clean. We took the body outside and we vacuumed that and uh, we actually used compressed air to blow it off and vacuumed it again, just to make sure we're not having to deal with any of that stuff. Uh, after we got everything cleaned up out in the garage here, we went in and changed, took showers, uh, just so we're not dealing with all that fiberglass dust all over us. Um, now we're ready to actually start laying in some, some fresh glass. Uh, so in preparation we've gone around and cut all of our glass mat to size and uh, prepped each one of the holes or cracks that need to be filled. So now we can just mix resin and just start laying everything in. So let me bring you up close and show you what we're dealing with. Uh, these two taillight holes uh, we're going to be filling in. So what we've done is I've gone ahead and cut a couple of circles to fill in the holes uh, and then we've got a, a couple layers that are going to go up on top of that. So each, each hole has its own set of uh, matting that's going to be used to cover this up. So now once we mix our resin all we have to do is just lay the resin in there, put the next piece on, lay some resin in, next piece and so on and so forth. So it should go pretty pretty quickly here. Um, so really all that's left now is just to go ahead and mix up some resin and uh, get going. All right, so we've got four ounces poured into our cup here. And then uh, we've already looked up the proper amount of hardener for this particular resin. Uh, and so we've got that predetermined here, so we'll just pour that in. Now we'll just make sure we get this thoroughly mixed up here. All right, with that all mixed up, now we can go ahead and start laying in here. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on a, on a chip brush here and I'm gonna soak this first layer once that's fully saturated I'll just lay in my next piece here and we'll get that saturated next layer
and there we have it. So now we'll just repeat this process for all the rest of them. Alright, so before we fill the holes in on the hood here, uh, one thing I wanted to mention um, is at all of the holes that we filled in, all the cracks that we filled in, on the opposite side we actually laid a small piece of wax paper in here. And it's just slightly larger than the size of the hole that we're filling. And then we've got masking tape layered over top of that uh, wax paper holding it in place. That's what gives us the back uh, the backer for the fiberglass. So now when I lay my fiberglass patch in here, it's not going to fall through. And also the resin will have a spot to set on. Now once the resin sets up and we peel off the, the tape and the wax paper, um, the surface might be slightly proud of the original part or there might be a slight recess in there. It doesn't really matter. What we'll end up doing is grinding some of that away just to get to a clean uh, surface that has some bite so our body filler will fill that in. So that's how we were able to support all these holes um, and make sure that we don't have just a mess happening on the opposite side. So now we're just going to go ahead and get these holes uh, and the hood filled in. Alright, so we've got all the fiberglass work taken care of here. Um, you know, we've gone around and gotten all of the holes filled in, all the cracks repaired. Uh, something else that we did off camera is we uh, installed some conduit uh, to run the electrical from the front to the back and then we went and we glassed, glassed that in um, just so it looks like part of the part of the vehicle. The conduit was uh, not a big deal. Uh, what we did is it's just uh, PVC uh, electrical conduit. It's one inch in diameter. What we did is uh, laid it out marked where we wanted it to be. Uh, just using a heat gun, uh, we softened it and bent the corners to face in uh, into the body. And then because the body has a slight curve to it, um, we also bent the ends in uh, so it actually follows the shape of the body. At this point, uh, like I said, we're actually done with all the fiberglass work now. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and paint the underside before we flip it over to get back on the top. We've gone through, we've pre-ground any areas just to make it look a little nicer. Uh, we're just going to take some acetone and uh, do a thorough wipe down of all the fiberglass before we lay the paint down. The paint uh, that we're going to be using here um, is just going to be this Rust-Oleum Farm and Implement paint. Uh, it's a pretty heavy duty paint. It should hold up fairly well on the underside. Uh, down the road we probably will lay in some uh, uh, truck bed liner or undercoating or something just to, just to toughen it up a little bit. But I do have plans for some more modifications in the future and because of that um, I don't want the bed liner on there. I want something that I can be able to grind off easily. Um, so we're just going to stick with that for, for now. Uh, and that, that's about it. Like I said, what we'll do is we'll, we'll wipe everything down with acetone, make sure there's no dust, no debris, no any leftover grease or oil, and um, get the painting. <laughs>
All right, so here it is, all painted up. Things are looking pretty good. Uh, we did let it sit overnight. That way we just make sure everything's nice and dry so we can start moving it around. Uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with how things are looking. Uh, once we get this flipped over, uh, what areas you can see uh, should look a lot better than just that raw fiberglass. On the next episode, what we're going to do is we'll get this flipped over. We'll start in on the body work, get the body filler in, make sure things are nice and smooth, and really uh, just kind of get it ready for some color. But uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe and hit like and all that kind of stuff. And uh, until the next episode, uh, take care.